Is there anything in your work, do you think, that marks you out particularly? So people could tell your work as compared to something else? I think else? every songwriter's got a style. When I, uh, when I first started, there was probably five or six down in this area. Um, they differed in different areas, but we all got our own. And one look, I could tell which one of them had done it. These are a couple of signs I got from outside of my house. I used to put up because people was always looking for me. I lived in a, live in a terrace house. Uh, when I first started, I had three twos and a six, but now it's two, uh, four twos, but there's another digit on the front. So every time they altered the phone, I had to do a new sign. <laughs> then it's nice to make something a little bit different. These are um, <clears throat> some of the brushes I use for lining, not, not so much for lettering. There's a lettering one, but it's, these are very old. I've had that one since the 1960s. They go in different sizes. Um, the large one is swans. These two are swans. And that fits onto the handle like that. That's, I've got Vaseline on there at the moment, but when it's got the paint on, you can go all the way down through and it leaves a lovely, lovely line. Takes a bit of practice, of course, but uh, that's what they're for. This is goose, then you've got three ducks, and then it goes to crow, and this one down here is a lark. And look at the size of that brush, that's lovely, isn't it? And you've got to use a cocktail stick in there as a handle. That's, yeah, it's a lark, that's the smallest you can get. Because they're made of quills, feathers from the actual birds. Yeah, and they're, they're lovely to use. So if you take the signs behind you, you've obviously painted those. If somebody were to replicate those in plastic, what would the difference be for you? I don't know really. It's, it looks nice, doesn't it? But you just can't beat the handwriting. I, I don't think so. Well, I would say that, wouldn't I? But um, it's just, I don't know, it's not personal enough, is it really? To do it by hand. It's, bit special for me. And the story about this thing here, this is a pallet that weighs a ton. That's a piece of perspex, and that's the thickness of it, about eighth of an inch. You can see the thickness there. So that was literally flat when you started? Yes, yeah, yes, it was just a, like a piece of perspex. You can see it underneath, that's what I started with, probably a bit of white and a bit of that. If I got a sign to do, put a pot of paint on, Dip it in and wipe it off. Just do your lettering and dip it, and that's what that is. It's built up over 60, 60 years. And look at the state of it. But I can't, I can't get rid of it. I love it. And where does sign writing go from here? Do you think it's got a future? Funny you should say that. I had to order some more paint last week from the firm I've been dealing with for a lot of years. And um, I used a certain sand writing paint, obviously. And he said, what colours do you want, Roger? I said, I want a yellow. Uh, he said, well, there's five tins left. I said, well, five tins? He said, sorry to tell you. He said, we're gradually phasing it out. He said, there's not enough of you fellas doing this. So they're gradually phasing that out. I'll probably be able to get it somewhere else. Well, I hope I will, but it just shows that's the sound of the times, doesn't it, really? But it's interesting because there is a big resurgence in things like vinyl records yeah. and people using film in their cameras right. again. So yeah. maybe this yeah. is going to feed yeah. through and there'll be more sign writers. Yeah, well, I hope there is because it's a wonderful trade and any youngster that's learned in it, it's worth doing. Yes. It obviously upsets you that it might be a dying trade. Well, yeah, it does really, but... Yes, yeah, sad, isn't it, really, when you think about it? But... Yeah. So what we need is some youngsters to take it on and want it, to pursue it. Well, yeah, why not? Yeah, it'd be lovely. It's a lovely trade to, to have, really. And yeah, it really is. I, I, I've enjoyed every minute of it. And if you can get paid for something you like doing, it's great, isn't it? And you mentioned that as you were sort of coming through, there were sign writers in most of the big towns up here. Are they still working or have they all gone now? They're gradually dying out, I think. You see more and more vinyl, don't you, really? I, to be honest, I don't know another sign writer. I don't know, there used to be, like I say, four or five around here, but a lot of it is done computer now, isn't it? Which is sad, really. That's why they're not selling any more paint. I can tell you're very emotional about oh, where yeah. it's going. 
Well, yeah, I am really, because it's, well, it's been a big, more, big part of my life, hasn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's been a big part of my life. Yeah.